Right, well, we're here to talk about creative and music now at Telford College. I'm joined by Andy Turner, who's the, the head of everything, aren't you? Just, just, head just of everything go through creative, the, yeah. uh, the full range of what creative and music covers now. You know? Yeah, we've got courses uh, at level two and at level three in our area in art and design, creative media and music and music production. So students can come to us and uh, at level three, they study for two years. Um, achieve a qualification that is equivalent to three A levels um, and prepares them really well for employment or university. Can come to us at level two um, if they need to work uh, to achieve their English and maths alongside, um, and then can progress onto level three. We've uh, we've had lots of students who've done that route, and some have gone off to university and then gone off and done their masters at the end of it as well. Um, so, how important is it for them to know before they come which particular specialism they're interested in? Well, for us, um, what makes us unique here at Telford College is that students can specialise in a, a one creative industry. So they can come to us and say, I want to specialise in art and design, I want to specialise in creative media, or I want to specialise in music. Um, but within that, we ensure that they, they develop skills in, in every sort of area of that industry. So um, they're well informed when it comes to their own specialism within that industry because students don't know what they don't know and we make sure that they uh, can experience and learn everything to do with that industry and then as they develop through their course they start to specialize in the areas that really interest them and the things that they, they've, they've developed those industry skills in um, which prepares them for employment or going on to university because it at higher education often uh, those courses are more specialized and, and more narrow so we we can kind of lead uh, as the as the the workforce is. You know, we try and lead them in that route. And talk a bit about some of the facilities you've got here, because there's been a lot of investment in the last year or so. Yes, there has. Uh, it's it's actually um, it, it goes further back than really the last year or so. So, um, really, even in the last few months, we've we've been doing uh, some investment in creative media. So we now have our own green screen studio. Um, in music, we have a bespoke centre that we built in. Uh, 2018-19 which is uh, an amazing facility um, and I'm sure you'll uh, everyone who's watching this will be able to see that uh, through our virtual tour and our pictures uh, and then in art and design we have the creative hub which is a, an amazing space for art students to come it's very open uh, there's incredible facilities specialist areas such as print rooms fashion and textiles rooms uh, graphic design suites as well um, our facilities really are are much closer to that of a university than they are to that of a, a sixth form or a school because they are so specialist. Um, you know, we have 200 students that come and study creative uh, studies at the moment and music. So we have to have good facilities. We have to make sure that they have got um, everything that they need for their courses. And what about the, the broad range of expertise and experience of some of the tutors in the department then? Because they'll have been there and done yeah. quite a wide range of different jobs in their time. Yeah, we've got really highly skilled and supportive staff within our area. So um, quite a few of the staff in our area are continuing whilst they teach to, to work in the industries that they're teaching in. So we have music staff who uh, are running recording studios and can bring that um, that experience and that understanding of what they're doing in the industry at the moment, you know, fresh into the classroom. We have art and design staff who uh, continue to practice Art, art and design outside of, of, of their lecture and, and, and are constantly updating their skills and, and what, they, um, what they're able to do and what they can then bring into the classroom as well. Uh, and same in creative media, we've, uh, we've had some brilliant partnerships that I'm sure we'll talk about as well. Um, so, so staff have been doing stuff with the BBC and uh, it's been really, really good. And, and that's actually been able to work on live, real projects. Yeah. Gives you that extra level, doesn't it? Just the cherry on top of the cake, isn't it? Now? Yeah, I think that's another thing that, that really um, makes us stand out here is that students across creative and music will work on live projects. So um, that's where we've got industry partners or just a, a short term project that comes in externally and the students will, um, will respond to that brief. So we've done that within art and design in partnership with the National Trust and also with the NHS, which has been brilliant. We've done things in uh, in creative media with the BBC and with ITV, and we've had students going into the BBC studios, filming their live uh, music performances, editing the video back on campus, sending it back to the BBC, and the BBC then broadcasting it on their own um, on their own channels, which is amazing for the students to be able to to get the qualification with us, but also have a CV that says I've done work for the BBC 
by the time they're 18 and they're, they're looking at what they want to do next. And it's the same for music as well. The, the BBC link has been brilliant for music and for media. So those students have been developing live sound skills, have gone to the BBC studios and broadcast the live um, performances on the radio. And then we've got the BBC guys coming in, talking about careers in the, in the industry and, and giving that real insight um, to our students as well. But it says a lot, doesn't it, for the quality of the, of the, the students that you're producing here, yeah. that these organisations feel that you can add value to them. 100%, the yeah. The, the BBC were really happy with the work our students produced. Um, from creative media, you know, the National Trust uh, and the NHS projects that we ran in art and design were brilliant. We, we also hosted an art, uh, uh, an art competition for the whole region here um, and our students entered that and some, uh, it was an art calendar and some of them got some of their work into the final calendar. Uh, in, in music, our students go out and perform at um, local venues. Um, so Albert Shed in Southwater, for example, is, is um, we've been uh, working closely with them, but other other venues in the area our students have performed in. Uh, and music students, you know, they, they compose and write their own songs as part of the course. They send it off to BBC um, and it gets played on the radio as well. So we've had, um, I think last year, last academic year, we had about four or five students who, um, while studying with us, were having their, their music played on, on BBC radio as well. Fabulous. So what kind of student, what kind of person, what kind of personality is best suited to courses in creative and music? And what do they need to, is there a list of things they need to tick off? Yeah, I think we, um, you know, we take students who, you know, you might not know exactly what you want to do within that industry, but you've, you've got a passion for, for art and design, for creative media or for music. That's really key. I think... The, the ability to, to think creatively and, you know, we really pride ourselves in, in the, the quality of the original work that our students produce, whether that's artwork or, or video production or in music. And students develop that creativity when they're with us, but to come with that, uh, that initial creative thinking um, is really, really beneficial to our students. Uh, and then hard work, you know, there's no, um, there's no getting away from it just because... Uh, they are creative industries doesn't mean you have to work any less hard than you would in any academic subject um, and if anything you have to work harder because there's there's quite often the work experience and the, the stuff that people do out, uh, the students do outside of the lessons as well um, and any of the guest speakers we get in always say the same thing it's talent's important but hard work is is as important if not more so within the creative industry so that's that's probably the key skills really absolutely well, Andy, thank you very much for your time i think it's high time we now heard from some of the students themselves. As a student at Telford College, I've learned a lot after enrolling onto the media course. I've learned how to shoot and prepare a, a film production. And I'm, I, I feel like I've excelled uh, so much just within one year. So the most recent production that I did was a music video and I feel like I, I uh, used a lot of the skills that I learned from the previous year on my level 2 course and I implemented that knowledge into this first production of my level 3 year. I constantly improve on my technical skills, my organisation skills and in general just I feel much more prepared uh, for the professional situation uh, in, 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 in a professional career. Uh, I do creative level three media and uh, I think I'm really enjoying it because of the amount of things we do in such short time. So for example, we're doing graphics, audio and film all at once. Uh, right now I'm currently working on an advert for a TV channel I made up so there's a lot of Create freedom. Uh, I want to become a graphic designer. So there's a lot of different things that we're currently learning about graphic design, logo design. In level two, I did a magazine. That was really fun because we designed not only the front cover, but the whole of the magazine, which I found really fun. I enjoy seeing different varieties of skills and topics and subjects that you actually learn in art. Um, I enjoy all the different medias that you use, what's available to use, and the materials, and you get to see 
so many other people's ideas and representations of the one subject we're all learning. Mm -hmm. So I think that's really good here. It's, it's a very in-depth, wide range of tools and materials that we get to use. And personally, this course will help me in the future because uh, it will help a lot with the title that I want to be able to get from university. Um, so uh, I want to be an art therapist and so obviously art plays a big deal into that. The tutor's advice have really helped me way helping us to realise what our interests are mm -hmm. and also uh, it's really helpful when they talk about art to careers mm -hmm. as well. So, so after college I will like to go to university to study illustration for me to become a children's book uh, illustrator. I'm studying level three music and music, music production. My favorite things is uh, the practice room, the, the studio, because it's what I want to do. Like, it's what I'm striving for, like music production. And the fact that I have, I have everything to get started like I'd say like for pro musicians to you know <laughs> to start building up your career. It's a, it, I mean it's a small taste of what it is to be out there. That's what you are striving for, that's what you're looking for, you should definitely do it. I, I'd say that to everyone. I'm studying level three music. On the music course I've learned how to mix songs together, um, how to play the drums, um, just how to use stuff in the recording studio um, and just how to work better in a group. Teachers, they understand you and they treat you like adults. So they'll never knock you down if you can't do something. The facilities are very good. Um, they're, they kind of make you feel like you're already in a recording studio. They make you feel very grown up because you don't get stuff like like the stuff we have here at primary schools and secondary schools. If you've got a passion in music and you want to in the future be a musician to definitely try this course. In the future um, I want to be a songwriter and singer. It's just it's my passion but there's nothing else I want to do. So that's some of the current students there, Andy. But give us a flavour about what some of the uh, past students from Telford College have gone on to do to make their fame, fortune or notoriety. Yeah, we, um, we have a lot of students who, when they immediately leave us, um, will go into higher education. So one of the common misconceptions with uh, studying a vocational subject like ours is that the, it, the route is mainly into employment and not into higher education. Um, whereas actually last year, Two thirds of our students that left who had completed their level three went on to university or um, a gap year before HE as well. Uh, and that's not just local, that's, that's nationally. So, um, you know, down in London, Leeds, Liverpool, Manchester, we had uh, some music students going off to Liverpool Institute Performing Arts. We've had students also uh, go off to Leeds College of Music and, and things like that. Um, and then we've had other students who've gone on and studied. Uh, art in, in London. We've had st students studying media in Manchester and, uh, and closer to home as well. In terms of employment, you know, we, uh, we, we see students go off um, and, and in our industry, uh, working in a variety of different things is really common. You know, going into one job you can do, but also doing a, multiple jobs alongside each other is quite common within this industry. Um, and we've been uh, recently celebrating some of the, the work of our, um, our alumni, our former students in, in music who've, uh, who've gone on and uh, worked on music festivals. They've been in uh, bands that have had top 10 um, albums. They've been in, um, involved in recording and production of music. We've had others that have set up music venues, some that are musical directors and teachers. Uh, and in art and design, we've had students that have set up their own design businesses. They've um, worked in the fashion and textiles industry. And in creative media, we've got students that go off uh, locally and again nationally running their own video production companies, students going into to marketing and advertising as well. Um, 
So yeah, a real variety of things within our area. And I think one of the things that enables our students to go on to higher education uh, and go on to um, employment is is the, the high grades that we achieve in our area as well. Um, you know, we are, uh, our students are achieving distinctions and distinction star grades uh, as part of their level three courses, which is enabling them to, to get into some of the top universities and, and also make them stand out, as well as the experience that we've already talked about on the CVs, you know, getting the higher grades on those qualifications is really important too. So the world literally from this creative area is there always, there's so many different directions they can yeah. choose to go and they might change their mind about which one they want mm -hmm. midway through their studies, presumably. Yeah, and I think quite often, you know, we, we look at students who might come to us um, and say you're studying creative media and you think, right, I'm, I'm quite interested in uh, in video editing um, and actually we'll develop those skills but learn about the world of, of uh, marketing and advertising and go on and specialise in those areas and uh, you know go into employment through that so coming with an interest in in that particular subject area could lead into a career in uh, in a variety of different areas with, related to that. Brilliant Andy thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thanks a lot.